Well, actually, it has very practical implications because there's a, a whole thing, a, a whole field that we call space weather. And just like weather here on Earth, we try to predict and understand and forecast what's happening in space because there's a constant solar wind blowing away from the sun at a million miles an hour. But there are also these solar storms that come out away from the sun at much faster speeds and carry a lot of material, a lot of magnetic field. And if those are uh, directed at the Earth, they can interact with the Earth, um, with the Earth's magnetic field. They can cause power outages. They can cause satellites uh, to have issues. Um, they can actually interrupt cell phone service. So there's actually practical imp implications for people here on Earth, even though we're protected from the, mag from the solar wind and these storms here on the surface. Uh, they don't come to the surface, but they have these currents in the atmosphere and in the magnetosphere which do interrupt um, technology. So we are very much affected by what's happening on the sun, and not only us, but our satellites and even uh, missions that are, um, you know, robotic missions that we send to Mercury, those are affected as well. So by understanding what's happening on the sun in these little regions that create these, these storms, uh, that allows us to better forecast. And, and ultimately, we want to be able to predict when these things are going to happen. Um, astronauts, for in instance, are um, more vulnerable to this radiation that's coming from the sun in these solar storms. So we want to be able to say, hey, you know, there's a big solar storm. It's coming at us. We know it's going to affect this and this and this. So we need to do something about it. And we're getting much better at doing that, at forecasting. But we're not at the point where we can actually predict and say we know a particular region on the sun is going to, you know, blow off all these flares and storms. So that's the reason for, for what I do in particular is, is understanding not just the sun, but how it affects us here on the Earth.